Hey guys, well, here we are all over in Alabama, headed to James Brothers Bikes. Alabama! There's Squirrely Dave, as you know, Thomas the Trail Engine, and Ricky Ricardo the Redneck. Woo! Made it to the bike shop. So we're gonna jump from putting beer into it, and then we're gonna jump to the canning process that's right over here. So the process is- So the first step, you gotta know how to put it on here, and the second step, you gotta do this. It's pretty crazy. We're gonna enjoy that later on in our camping trip. Stay tuned for that. This. That is too awful. And I think. So, what do you think? What do you think's going on? So here's the entrance. We come down through here. We're, we're camping right here. A brown circle. I wanna go and I wanna know. Do you wanna follow? Baby, do you wanna Hey guys, we're at Chewaka Park. We got rain for Friday night, so we are actually I'm just gonna do some skills challenge in the field and hopefully the trails will open up and we can ride them later, but we're kinda of waiting on it. But here comes Dave. Oh, there you go. Didn't fall. That's all that counts. <laughs> Spin it with my back. Oh, you did a little tire grab on there. Definitely got a little brake action. That was good. You know the seesaw? Uh oh. So we got a little seesaw action here on a log. Can Dave manual off the end of the seesaw? He's going to come in hot and go for it, though. Almost. I think you can get that. Ricky, I bet you can do that. So Ricky's gonna give it a shot. We're gonna try to get the seesaw and manual off of the end of it. So that would be back tire hitting off the seesaw first. I think he got it. Yeah. Nice. Well, you just pull up and roll off the end. There you go. So we uh, just rolled up on the section over here. Looks like we got a big booter jump here. Fly out jump, a little pump track coming around. Let's, uh, let's throw the helmet on and see about some runs. That was pretty big. That was pretty cool. Nice little under, yeah. the, under and over. Got session. it for a solid 35 seconds and just went for it. It says, you know what, man, there's the big jump. Uh, it was awesome, glad we did it. Good way to start the day, get get the juices flowing. Uh, uh, we got a couple good, spectators, man. hey everybody. Thanks for coming out watching. Woo. All right, well, let's just jump right to it. This is gonna be a combination of rums from Tube City and Pipe Dream. But I want to go down it again. Okay, yeah, so. let's do it. I mean, that pace was good. Second time around, you'll really know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> So this is the bridge gap. You go underneath it. Oh. You ready, bud? Oh, my bounce sucks. <laughs>
Come on, quick one. This big lily pad, probably the biggest lily pad I've ever tried. I didn't jump off it last time. I was super tired and worn out, but look at this thing. <coughs> and you can see the height difference here. You really have to hop on. You really actually, actually hop up here and then hop off. It's like a hop to flat, so it's kind of weird. Not exactly flat, but there's a small transition here. And then here's a little double, little small double sco here. So first run, that was pretty crazy. I definitely think people should warm up, but again, first run of the day, hit the jump line, did all the drops besides the road gap. This road gap is still really scary. You just can't see the lane. Like, you have no idea how far you're going on this thing. It's pretty wild. You kind of just roll right in. You roll right in like this. Whew. Boom. It's a, it's a pretty big gap, full commit. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but we're gonna check out, get some more runs in, see how we feel. Run number two. Oh, slow motion. So it looks like I have bailed on doing the road gap. Just not feeling it. Can't hit every one of the features every time. This thing's pretty, uh, pretty aggressive looking. As you can tell, you just kind of roll right into this thing, and that's that. Boom, road gap. A lot of road gaps will be step downs. This one is just a straight road gap. It's not a uh, step down or step up, just straight road gap i think it's probably like 27 feet but straight road gap and i'll try it again next time she walked the park had all the necessary camping needs that we had so we got our food going and started setting up our campfire sitting around talking to each other is the best part of camping and the ranger dell told us about an old water tower tucked back in the woods everybody's lights worked out great for me. oh that's awesome you could airdrop that if you want don't worry about that part Oh, creepy, creepy water tower. Creepy people near the water tower. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Rick, Ricky, what are you doing? Ricky, Ricky, what if there's a witch out here named Blair? What are you doing? Oh, um, shum, dub, 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 This is Dell's trail. He's the main ranger here. Giant wood rollover into a giant wall ride. Let's smash this thing. I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this day. Big shout out for Thomas for again showing me around Chihuahua Park. Uh, Dave for having a camping chippy through here. So definitely check out Squirrely Dave. And don't forget, pedal a little harder, don't touch the brakes, and we'll see you on the next adventure.